All right, everybody, I'm going to show you an easy way to take your PowerPoint presentation that you might already have made for your traditional class and turn it into an online PowerPoint lecture. Um, so, of course, the first thing you need is your PowerPoint. Um, just go ahead and open this up. Um, so I'm pulling up a PowerPoint from my world music class. Um, and what I'm going to do is add some narration on top of the slides. And then when students access the slides online, they can hear my narration on top. Um, so it's very easy to do. Um, I'm just going to go to slideshow, record slideshow, um, and then for this particular slide, I can make a recording. Um, right here, if you want them to see you, you can turn the camera on. Uh, this button actually only toggles your preview on and off, so if you actually don't want to be seen at all, uh, you can turn this camera totally off, or if you want to be seen, of course, you can turn it on. Um, I'll just leave it on right now so you can see me and kind of see how this works. Um, I'll maybe do one with the video on and one with the video off. Um, so once you're ready to narrate your slide, it's pretty easy. You just click record, wait for the countdown. And now I'm talking about the slide. I'm talking about the panderu. I'm talking about the triangle. I'm talking about the zamumba, the ganza. Telling these, talking about these things to my students. Um, you can even draw on these as you're talking, which is kind of nice. And you can point things out and say, hey, check out this Zabumba word, I don't know, I'm just kind of spitballing here. And then once you're done talking on that slide, you're giving your presentation, you can click stop, and that should be saved now. You can replay it to make sure everything came out okay. Now I'm talking about the slide, I'm talking about the Pandiru, I'm talking about the triangle, I'm talking about the Zabumba, the Ganza, I'm talking about these things to my students. Um, you can even draw on the... All right. I can move on to, well, let's see, stop here, and now I can move on to the next slide. Let's say on this slide I don't want the video, so I'm just going to turn the video off, and then we can record again. All right, now we're going to talk about Samba de Coco. This is a style of music from the north of Brazil. Um, it's all percussion instruments and singing, and they use wooden shoes uh, to tap out rhythms while they're playing. So take a look at this video and this video right here that I have embedded, and look for these things. All right, great. So that's my audio lecture. Click stop. Again, I can replay it to preview it. Once you've done everything, um, you can close this here. You'll see how they kind of come out differently. Like this one had me talking on it, so it has this little video pop up. I'm talking about the slide. I'm talking about the triangle. I'm talking about the. I have a video which just has a little audio guy come up. Um, and so. I guess... All right, now we're going to talk about Samba Chicoco. This is a style of music from the north of Brazil. For them to see the drawing, you have to put it in slideshow mode. Yeah, so you kind of skip ahead. Hey, check out kind of picture done about the. And actually, it looks like the drawing didn't save. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. I think maybe the drawing's behind the the what's going on for some reason. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I skipped ahead. So I think if I play this in real time, let's try it. And now I'm talking about the slide, I'm talking about the pandiru, I'm talking about the triangle, I'm talking about the zamunga, the ganza, the I'm talking about these things my students. Um, you can even draw on these as you're talking, which is kind of nice. You can point things out. All right, now we're going to talk about... Yeah, so... Um... Narration, if they skip ahead in the narration, the drawing is on a different timer, um, but it should line up if they watch the whole slide. Um, so what you can do is then you can save this guy, and the problem with these video PowerPoints is they do get kind of large. The file size is pretty big. So what I do is I actually embed these directly in PowerPoint. So if you have the Cisco um, OneDrive folder embedded on your computer, um, like if you're at your work computer or something, you can just right-click on this and click Share. And it should come up with a link. So you would want to set it to people in the Cisco so your students can see it. And then I would not allow editing so they can't get in there. And then you can decide whether or not you want them to be able to download it. Or if they can't download it, they'll just look at it directly in the browser using their PowerPoint um, Microsoft 365 
PowerPoint uh, extension in the browser, which they should have access to. Um, so what you can do is copy a link. Oops, let's see. So people in the Cisco apply, and we want to get a link to copy. We're going to copy this link, and that's what we're going to put into Blackboard. If you don't have this mapped onto your computer, then you just want to go into OneDrive, wherever it is, right-click on it there, and then um, click on Share, and then it's the same process from here. Let people in the Cisco system, and then we want to copy the link. So then what you can do is once you've copied the link, go into Blackboard. So if you don't want to actually upload it, you can upload it. It just might be kind of a big file to upload and download for students. Um, you can just go to Build Content and go to Web Link. And then you can say, I'm going to give it a name and then give it that shared link that you downloaded or that you copied earlier. And then I usually put a thing in here that says, like, uh, you might need to log in with MXCC credentials to access the file. They're already in Blackboard, so they technically should be logged in, but just in case, it might ask them to log in again since it is behind the Cisco wall. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's submit that. Now the students should be able to access this in the PowerPoint browser. So this is pretty slick. Um, they don't even have to download anything now. And then when they go to these slides, um, since it is in the browser, it's going to take it a minute to get going. So actually, I'm going to pause a second. All right, so it took about, I don't know, it only took a couple, a couple seconds, five or ten seconds. If you have a lot of these recordings, it might take up to like a minute for everything to kind of catch up if they're using the browser. They can always download this as well. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but everything should be saved on here. Now to, to hear the voiceover, they're going to have to put it into into slideshow mode. They, when it's in the browser, you can't just click on it. You can click on it if you download it. Um, but they can just throw this into slideshow mode. All right, now we're going to talk about Samba Chikoku. This is a style of music from the north. Um, slide, and we've turned it into a... Um, a online video lecture PowerPoint slide and we don't even have to upload or download anything we can just uh, share those links that are in OneDrive. Now I mentioned um, if the students do have trouble accessing this in the browser and they want to download it as a PowerPoint slide they can just go over here and they can go over to download as and then they can download a copy if you allow them to download it um, and then once they have it downloaded they can just use PowerPoint traditionally on their computer so hopefully this is helpful. This might be an easy way to convert from some of your regular lectures into online lectures without having to make a whole lot of new materials. So um, if you have any questions about this, um, I'm sure one of us can help you figure it out as well. Thanks.